All right, well, finally, guys, I get to do this long awaited review of the Vansall reels that I have right here in front of me. Guys, if you are new to Chasing Florida, welcome. I'm glad you guys found us. And if you aren't new to the channel and you are already subscribed, welcome back. Now, I finally get to do this review that I have been waiting to do for a very long time, but I'm always fishing the reels. So I really have little time to take them apart and actually show them to you one by one, which is what I'm going to do right now. And we'll see and compare the three different models that I have, which is the VSX, the VSX2B bailed series and the VR line. Before we get into that though, guys, as always, let's roll that intro. So, Van Stahl. Now, these reels are highly, highly spoken about. There's a there's a big debate that's been ongoing for I don't know a very long time, longer, longer than I I, I care to even uh, think about. But for the sakes and purposes of this video, I will not compare these reels to any other make of reel I own different makes of reels that include Shimano, some Accurates, and their phenomenal reels, as well as these Van Stalls that I got here right next to me. Now, these are my preferred reels. Keep in mind that I have purchased every single one of these reels that you see here next to me. I'm not sponsored by Van Stall, but if you're listening, Van Stall, your boy's out here fishing a lot with these reels. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. That was pretty lame. But, you know, guys, if you think Van Stall should sponsor me, like and comment below. Anyway, let's get back to the review. So like I said, I'm, yeah, definitely I'm not sponsored by them. I've purchased every single reel that you have here, starting with this first one. I'm about to send some of these to maintenance and that's why you see them all laid out here, including that accurate over there who made its way here. He infiltrated the Van Stahl line. So yeah, this is the VSX 150, one of the one of my, well, actually my first Van Stahl ever. And this is primarily my snook reel. 150 is probably around 5K to 6K size. And um, you can tell that it's, you know, it's had some use. I love the way that these reels get small, uh, which, you know, the old cup design. One of my favorite things of the older reels, which is sadly gone. And we can start the comparison there. Now, I'll bring you over here to the VSX2 series. This is the bailed line, keep that in mind. This is brand new. This is the 50 size. Now, why is that important? Uh, there's never been a VS or a VSX50. They've all started at the 100 and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you can, I'm not an expert in, in Van Sol. Yeah, so again, feel free to comment below. And But I know for a fact that this size, this 50 has not been made available and any of the other previous lineup except for the VR line. This is the VR50 and we'll talk about these later. We'll go back to the VS X uh, series and uh, talk about that. So now the rotor and the cup has, have, it actually has this cutout now. The spool has grown much more. As you can see, the old spool uh, ended right around there. So about an eighth of an inch under. Why was that done? One, I believe to save just a bit of weight. This is a heavier reel than believe it or not, that one that is a hundred, a 150 size. So this reel right here is a little heavier and uh, that may be an issue for some of you guys. There's some more to the weight. It's not just because of the size of the spool, but also the handle now is a bit longer. 
it is a one piece design and the AR, so the anti reverse uh, mechanism has now been moved from the side to up right underneath the main shaft, uh, the spool shaft, it's titanium. Oh, let me stand that guy up. So let's go back to the old one. The old one, I never purchased a VS because when I looked into it, they had upgraded the clicker here so that you can actually hear it. And there were some small, some other improvements made to this reel that makes it a little bit smoother than the VS. Now, not to knock the VS, the VS is a very nice reel. There's plenty of them still out there, absolutely slaying, uh, and they're phenomenal reels. Now, I'd like to point out one of the second larger changes, in my opinion, is the actual stem here that is held on, that, uh, that holds the reel seat, I'm sorry, that hooks up to your rod. Now, uh, this is a bailless reel, so you work this with your index finger. And if you know a little bit about bailless, I'm not gonna get too far into the weeds, but there's a roller here and lines sitting on there. You remove it and cast out. And then when you wanna engage, you grip the line and boom. And as you can see that, I almost, I'm actually rubbing my knuckle. And I don't have two, I mean, I could say I have like a, a little bit uh, above average size hands, but my hands aren't crazy big, right? So I still get hit every now and then when I'm fishing. It's not a big deal. I'm used to it. I know how to avoid it. But um, the newer series, and we'll go to the 50 because it is more comparable to that one, is much longer. So there is way more clearance. And even with that bail wire now there, it is out of the way. Now, talking about the bail wire, the bail itself, this is actually titanium as well. So it is super overbuilt in my opinion. It's not thin, making it not very fragile as some other spinners in the market can be. Now, like, so one of the biggest, uh, I guess you could say improvements compared to the VSX is, in my opinion, the adjustment knob for the drag. It is way larger and way easier to actually full lock, right? I can full lock it fairly easy. On the older BSX, you can see that these little feet are almost non-existent, right? So to lock this down, I feel like you almost have to get like a wrench to do that. Not a big deal, but big deal for me, it's a lot faster to work on these reels com compared to the old VSX. Handle was changed out uh, to the uh, away from this traditional T handle. And now we have the power knob, at first, honestly, I did not like this, but it is grown on me a lot. And you know, the long handle feels more natural compared to the short handle, even though I am accustomed to the shorter handle. And there is some argument there that the longer these get, the slower it is to retrieve. And uh, you know, that is a fact. That is just the basic mechanism of a reel. The longer the handle is, the harder it is, the harder it becomes for you to reel, or the slower, I should say, it is to reel in. Is it noticeable? No, it's not noticeable. These have more line retrieve compared to the VSX, so that is also an improvement compared to the older VSX. Now, the cup, and I wanna to touch on the cup again. There is a lack of that here. Is there, uh, on the older reels, there was always a concern that these were going to rub up against the cup, the spool that is. I have never done that and I've fished this completely locked down. Again, this is one of my snug reels and that's never happened. Can it happen? It probably can if you hook like a Goliath grouper or something and you're locking this down and just cupping it and you may get that. Um, but that's not going to happen under normal fishing conditions is what I'm saying. Uh, this reel, it doesn't have that. so. That doesn't really apply unless the sides could then rub up. And yeah, maybe if you do that, you may get it to touch. I don't think you will. And with the bail, by the way, wire, that gives it just a little extra rigidness there to stop that from happening. Now, again, pointing out that the anti-reverse has been located to right underneath the titanium shaft and as you can see I try to spin this back and it has no play whatsoever. Let's, let's try it on the 200 size and there is no play whatsoever. So 
good on them. If you buy a reel that's like $900, that's the last thing you want to see. The old one, now you can see that. Look at all that play. And that's because that is in here. Uh, moving that to up here completely eliminated that. Now, I did grow the reel a little bit by doing that, but not noticeably. So it's not, uh, in, my, in my opinion, a big thing. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that these are two piece here on the bottom. It is not a one piece construction. There is a separation here and uh, it's very hard to get into. You do need some special tools and that's why these are serviced only by Vanstall. I mean, there are people who are servicing them. I don't recommend that. I recommend you send it in to get serviced. I've fished these pretty hard, sometimes a couple of years without service and most of these are going back this year. So keep in mind that these all have stainless steel main gears and pinions so they aren't crazy smooth reels but that being said going back to what i was saying about the vs and the vsx they they feel very similar now when you compare them to the new uh, vsx2 series this is a lot smoother and i think that has to do with just quality control and the way they have been fitted together now these were at one time all made in the United States. They have been, they have been made in China since the VSX, and you know you can say what you want about that, but they are made very well. They're a hundred percent sealed. They will not get water in them. They will not get sand in them. You could fish these underwater, guys. Uh, you could swim with these. Go underneath the boat. Go in a jetty. Get it everywhere in sand. And the thing is just going to work like a tank. So uh, that's one of the, my main reasons for actually purchasing them. And they are expensive. Now, they are expensive. The uh, bailed version uh, in the 200 size is like a little bit over close to $1,000. The 50 is about $889, you know, uh, where the bailless is right around $800 and the VR line is anywhere from, starts at like a 475 all the way to like 575, almost $600. Now, what else can I say about these reels other than that they're just fantastic? I mean, so the one thing I do, I will say about the older ones, I showed you the two piece construction. Why is that important? This is a two piece construction on the body on the bottom. This one is now, as you can see, a solid one piece construction. So that adds a little bit more uh, rigid feel of the reel and just allows you to transfer all that power just a lot better to the reel itself as you're reeling. Also, for the surf caster guys, it's important. And I surf cast at 150 a lot, so I am considering getting a 150 to 200 bail less. Uh, I don't want to go through the conversion process. I'm not interested in that. And there's a reason why I got this bailed and it's going to stay that way. So, but basically if you're running around the beach and you're tossing these into the ground, staking them in or throwing them into a stake and you're just slamming on them over time, if you do that repeatedly over time and you treat your equipment hard, and I do treat my equipment very hard. Some of them, you know, lose its seal and they become compromised and now that's a problem because the reel then has to go to advanced to advanced stall and get serviced so think about that if you're considering because the vsx is still available do you want to buy it compared to the vsx2 that is a good question um the price point to me at that point when you're spending seven to eight hundred dollars on a reel it, at that point, to me, it doesn't really matter. It makes more sense just to buy the the new and upgraded version, and then you don't have to worry about those things if you're surf casting and throwing your reel and staking your rod hard down into the ground. That makes more sense to purchase, and you get all of the added benefits of the new reel. Smoother, better, in my opinion, just way better and smoother reeling capability. Longer shaft here uh, for, your, for your reel seat. You have the improved retrieval rate. The small one is retrieving at about 35 inches per turn. And I think the larger uh, 200 size here is right around 55 inches per turn, which is insane. So this is a huge improvement base compared to the VSX. Okay, so where do I stop and then move over to the VR? 
The one thing I will say about the VSX is that the line roller is still great and smooth. It is also right here on this point titanium as the old ones are and that is awesome that did not change. So good on Van Stahl for doing that. The VR. So what is the VR? I fish these VRs primarily on my boat. Why? Because the type of fishing that I do, and if you're any, if you do this type of fishing, not that every, you know, not that everybody does, I'm constantly jumping off my boat on the flats or into shallow water and taking my reel with me. Sometimes I'm just waiting, looking for fish, or I have hooked the fish and I need to get it around some structure that it may be, it may be entangled upon. So I'm taking the reel and I'm taking the rod with me. And that's why I got these. If I am on the boat the whole time, I will probably fish uh, something like my Shimano, my Accurates, and some of my pens. These reels, I use the most because they can pretty much do it all. They're not the smoothest. They're not like a Shimano Stella where it's, I mean, you look at it and it starts to spin. Uh, and But they are workhorses you can jump in the water with them you can do whatever you want with them you can treat the gear pretty hard and you're not going to have to worry about it breaking down this reel is the only one that i have managed to break out of all my advanced all reels this is number 32 so this was the 32nd one ever made uh it went to service once and they really couldn't even find the parts for it because they were now they're now on their second generation these are all first generation VR. I have the VR50 here, the VR125, and then the VR150 and 200. The 200 I just landed like a 120 pound tarp in like five, six months ago on. So phenomenal reel as well. This does not have the same characteristics as the VSX. It does not have a titanium shaft. These reels all have titanium shafts and they're pretty thick. What this has is, if I'm not mistaken, a stainless steel main shaft that's nitrite coated, so it's titanium coated. So it is okay. It is still 100% sealed reel. Not sealed as well as that one. This one, the entire thing is 100% sealed. It's just the sealing is not as good as on the uh, as on the VSX line. The rollers are still great. They roll. They're ceramic instead of being uh, titanium. I stepped on this one, stepped on the bail wire, so now it is kind of mushy and it is not positive. So this one's going to Vanstall to be reviewed. So what are the main differences when we're comparing the VR to the VSX? Now, I told you about the differences of the VSX to the VSX2. The VR is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. However, it is not 6061 aluminum like this is. This is the VSX, the 200 size, right? Why could this be the real for you? I mean, the price point is a little better. You know, again, four seventy-five to about almost six hundred dollars. Now it is lighter, so this is another conversation that I want to touch upon before we finish this review. This reel, which is the VSX, is lighter than the VSX two for several reasons that we talked about. You know, handle a little bit extra here on the on the real seat shaft and the additional work that went into the shaft to place the AR clutch or the anti-reverse right underneath the titanium shaft. So that would probably be another reason if weight is a big deal for you, then probably you should get the VSX. If it's not, and I mean, we're talking about ounces here, guys. If we're comparing these reels, apples to apples, I think it's like an ounce or maybe two, depending on the reel. Now the VR line, is a lot lighter than all of them. So if you look at, this is a 200 right here, VR, right? And if you compare it to this one, I'm not gonna weigh this because this is not that type of review, but if I, I, I mean, I'm putting it in my hands, it is lighter. Uh, and they are spooled with identical braid. This is basically 50 and that's 50 braid, full to the top. So, and these are both 200s. I, I, I wanna add to that. They're both the same size reel. So. Final impressions. What do I think about these reels after fishing them for about five years, some almost six, nonstop. I mean, nonstop. They're phenomenal. I wouldn't have any other reel. 
I was a big pen guy a long time ago and something terrible happened to me where all my reels were completely stolen. So I had made a lot of memories on those reels and I kind of took a hiatus from fishing after that for about five years. I mean, that hit me pretty hard. But after my hiatus, I came back and a buddy of mine got me back into fishing again. I mention him all the time. His name is uh, Chris Camacho. He's a captain. He has a charter, uh, charter company, Shadow Line Fishing. Look him up. I'll link in the description below. And as always, big shout out to you, my man, and thank you for getting me back into fishing. Uh, I uh, I walked away from it for a while. I walked away from it for like five years, and you know, one day he just took me snook fishing, and I started I started purchasing reels again. But anyway, I started fishing these guys, and I love them. I mean, some people are like, "Oh, you're a fanboy," and I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? I am, man. I, I love these reels. I I fish other reels, but this is what I take out to fish." And you know, some people think that this is kind of gaudy. I think it's just simplistic and I love things that are simple and that work. I mean, adding color to your reel, to me that's complicated. This is just billet aluminum that has been machined to make uh, it look like a reel and they are awesome. I chose that color and stuck with it. The black ones are great looking and when they fade, they look even better. I'm like, sometimes I wish I would have bought the black ones to begin with because when they start to fade, man, they get all sorts of patina. And they look great. Uh, I love reels with character. I beat these reels up, guys. That's the other reason why I think these are great reels. If you're looking for a reel that will probably outlive you. I mean, for sure, you're going to fish it for 20 to 30 years. No problem. You're going to get a lot of good memories out of them and a lot of good service out of them. They do require some maintenance. I fish them pretty hard and I send them out about every two years because I fished them, I mean, pretty much every weekend. Now, I don't fish them like a probably like a, you know, like a charter guy would who fishes them every day. If you're fishing them every day, then you definitely have to send them out for service once a year. And it's 50 to 75 bucks, depending on what's going on with it. But those are my final impressions. Are there any things that I maybe missed that you guys want to talk about? Or if they're, actually, let me rephrase that. Is there anything that I would like to add to these reels to end the review? And the answer is no. I mean, no and yes, maybe a little bit of more drag would be cool. <laughs> Every fisherman talks about that, but the only thing I would add, well, yeah, would be just a little bit more drag. And that would be pretty awesome. If there's anything you think I missed, you know, just go ahead and comment below and I'll get back to you. And if there's anything else you wish I would have done different in this review, I, again, I'm always willing to do another review. I love to do gear reviews. I just don't have the time sometimes because I'm out there fishing, which is the most important thing you can do. Get out there and fish, test your gear, and that way you know what its limits are and you can make the choice as to what gear you really want to buy and that way you'll find out if you really do want to spend money on reels like this guys thank you for watching thank you for sticking through this review video if you are new to this channel consider subscribing hit the bell notifications that way you are notified when we post new content and smash that like button and as always i'll see you in the next video